A national threat to your identity is hitting home tonight. Greenville police say they found not one but four ATM skimmer devices. It's just the latest attack against your personal information that we're following. We told you last night about the dangers of ransomware leaving you in limbo. And this weekend we'll be out in our community helping you shred your personal documents. But first, we're digging into this ATM skimming case. Greenville police say they found skimmers installed on ATMs at four banks. And now these devices were just slipped onto the machines. The trouble is you don't even know you're handing your information over directly to the thieves unless you inspect the card, the card reader rather, before you use it. The threat of skimming is on the rise in our area and Greenville police say they're going to stay vigilant. If you look at it, that's just a normal piece of hardware. Take a look. This is part of the evidence Greenville police collected for their ATM skimming case. Police say criminals install these pieces of equipment on ATMs at four First Citizen banks. There was one little part that was fake that actually had a little pinhole camera and what was pointing at the keypad, so that's obviously to capture your PIN number. Police say those key numbers collected never made it into the hands of thieves. With the evidence in hand, police will now be tracking down those responsible. I'm expecting to um, at least get um, some DNA, um, possibly um, some fingerprints, um, and maybe some electronic uh, information too. Across the state, police say the number of cases are on the rise. They're blaming the switch to chip cards, which make the cards just about immune to skimmers. Experts say criminals are trying to take advantage while it's still easy. But you can make it harder for them. Just check what you're about to use. Keep your hand over the keypad when you're entering your pin and speak up. Whoever is using an ATM is the first line of defense. And if they let us know, we can protect even more people down the road. Now, if you use the ATMs at the four First Citizens locations in Greenville, you're asked to contact your bank. The bank says it will be monitoring account activity.